Hi, my name's Safa. This is my sister Ria, and we are the Somali family. Today, we're making lamb spinach rhubarb, ricotta, and rice. So, first thing, we've got our lamb with all our delicious spices in this pressure cooker with water, and we're gonna let that cook for 20 minutes. While that's cooking, we're gonna get started on our spinach. So the first thing we're going to do is blend our spinach. So with that, you need a little bit of water to help break it down. So push the spinach down once you have your water in there. And then grab the lid, chuck it on, and we can give that a quick flip. And if it's not moving, you can just move it around a bit. So now that our spinach is nice and blended, we can start cooking our onions. So just get a pot on medium heat. Here's your oil. First step, add your oil. After that, you can just add in your onions and garlic. If your oil is too hot, your onions will just burn and they won't actually cook fully and you want them to actually cook really nicely. So make sure your oil's not too hot. So you want to constantly give your onions a stir because you don't want them to burn. All right, so once your onions are ready, you want to get your spinach in. Don't waste any, make sure you get all of it. Try not to get too much of the actual water in the pot. All right, so now that our spinach is in the pot, what we want to do after that, grab coriander. You don't need to cut it up. What you can actually do is break it down with your hands. So it's the coriander that gives it that smell, yeah? Yeah, the coriander makes it really delicious and fragrant. All right, so once your coriander is in, you can add in your fresh chilies. Don't ever forget the chilies. Fresh chilies. So after adding every ingredient, you need to keep stirring. So after you've added in your chilies, you can add your spices. Salt, pepper. So the last ingredient that needs to go in is your tomato paste. After you've added your tomato paste, make sure you give it a really, really good stir. So keep stirring. Once it's thickened up a little bit, you can then set it off to the side for later. It smells so good. Now that our spinach is done, we can start prepping for our ricotta. So just sprinkle in with some salt, just to make it more salty. Get them in the hot oil. And there goes our last piece. Make sure you keep turning them around. Very gently, make sure you don't break them down. It's just very soft. These should take no longer than two minutes, but make sure you get full fat ricotta because any other ricotta will be too moist. Oh, look at that colour. Yeah, the colour's perfect, so you can take them out now. This is what we want. Once you get them all out, let it drain on the towel and we're ready to plate up. All right, guys, so we've got such a big range of ingredients here. We've got lamb straight out of the pressure cooker, rice, rhubarb, spinach, ricotta, and lettuce, of course. Can't forget the lettuce. Mm. And we're going to plate up. All right, let's start with the lamb. Some rice on the top. Just cover up your lamb, because you want to have a nice surprise when you dig into your rice and you find a nice piece of lamb. All right, so we're just going to layer some lettuce down, just to make it look pretty. You know, presentation's important too. All right, then you can grab your spinach. Ricotta. The rhubarb. And we're done. Oh, look at that. It looks beautiful. Your food needs to look and taste beautiful. And that's the Samadhi family lamb and rice with sabzi paneer, which is spinach, ricotta and rhubarb. This is a very traditional Afghan dish and we eat this all the time. For the full recipe, visit familyfoodfight.com.au.